As we all know right now, the NFL season is still underway. However, if you're a Jaguars fan, Jets fan, Texans fan, whatever, you're probably in off-season mode right now as we are all mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. And during the off-season, you kind of get into draft mode and free agency mode and coaching rumor uh, mode, but now like there's also a mode called speculation mode, and that's kind of where we're getting at right now. And it kind of comes from Albert Breer. Now, before we get into it, basically, um, as we all know, Doug Marone is probably going to be gone. Now, there was a weird report yesterday where Adam Schefter kind of hinted at coaches around the league believing that maybe Doug Marone has a chance to stick around as a head coach due to the fact that. The Jaguars are playing tough with him, whatever that means, but maybe after yesterday's game. Hopefully that might change that narrative. But I mean, any if 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 Shad Khan is a smart man, he's gonna fire Dave or Doug Marone, and then everything's gonna be blown up. So um but there was a rumor today that Urban Meyer is apparently a guy that might be a guy of interest. Now, what Al Breer said, I'll quote this from the Monday morning quarterback. He said, if the Jaguars fire Doug Marone at the end of the year, the sense among, among those working the job market is that Jacksonville owner Shad Khan will hire a coach and build around that coach with other hires. So it sounds like based on that, he would almost hire a head coach first, and then the head coach would almost... I don't know if they would determine whether they want a general manager or whether uh, they would hire the coach and then the coach would kind of go out there and try to hire a GM. It's kind of an unconventional way to go about things. And the Jaguars doing something unconventional probably isn't what I'd want to do. I don't want to be a trailblazer. I would rather follow other teams' modes of success. But I know the shots are, or the cons, I should say, especially Tony Khan, they're kind of close to Bill Belichick, and I think they have a lot of respect for him. And Bill Belichick kind of runs his ship that way. So uh, maybe we bring over Bill Belichick, but I don't know. Maybe they go for a coach that's kind of more more control controlling of the situation. And it kind of reminds you of like a college football type of coach, you know, kind of like a Dabo Sweeney kind of thing. But in this case, Urban Meyer is a name that apparently has been brought up. Now, this is clearly all just speculation, but apparently there's some people around the league that think that Urban Meyer wants to coach in the NFL that, that kind of think that he uh, has been kind of eyeing head coaching jobs. And as we all know, like he'll, he'll coach, then he has health concerns, and then he'll coach again, have health, or have health concerns, and he's only out for a year or two, but he kind of stays around the game. He goes on Fox Sports and is an analyst over there. So he's always around it, and he's still relatively young. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Now, it's just speculation, but they just said that Urban Meyer may be a guy to keep his eye on. So I don't know. Like, with Urban Meyer, Urban Meyer, I mean, he's had a lot of success as a college football head coach. I mean, he won two national championships at University of Florida, and he also won a national championship at Ohio State University. And like really with this, my biggest worry, like I would be really excited about an Urban Meyer hire, but my main worry about him is like, how long are we going to get him for? Because, you know, the longest he stayed, he stayed at Florida for like six years, but that's the longest he's ever really stayed somewhere. So um, but at the end of the day, the Jaguars are so needing some kind of success where if you can bring a guy in, like, hell, if he's here for six years and wins one Super Bowl, sign me up right now. Um, but it's it's tricky because you obviously want sustainability at the head coaching spot. So um, hopefully he comes in, and if he does come in, he hires a good staff, and uh, maybe we almost have a coach in waiting, kind of like they had with Ryan Day over at Ohio State. Um, but really the biggest, the big thing about Urban Meyer that makes him so great is just the kind of offenses that he's had. Like he runs the spread offense attack, which is really like kind of where the NFL is heading towards is spreading the ball out a lot of, you know, getting a lot of speedy guys out there, run east, west, run some good, you know, and opens up for the deep route. And uh, another really good thing that he does is he really builds offenses and around not only the skill players and the players on the field, but also just the quarterback position. I mean, in 2006, he won a national championship with Chris Leak as a starting quarterback. Then two years later, won this national championship with Tim Tebow at quarterback. 
Um, two very, very different different players. And I believe when he was at Ohio State, he had Terrell Pryor in one year. He went down. Then they moved on to JT Barrett. He went down. And then they won a national championship with Cordell Pat or Cordell Jones, I think his name was. But uh, yeah, I mean, he just kind of, he, he does really good at the quarterback position. Um, and he's able to do good things with them. And right now, the Jaguars sit at number two overall pick. They're probably most likely going to get Justin Fields, a guy that Urban Meyer is obviously very used to, as he used to, uh, I believe he coached him. I don't know if, uh, I should probably should have saw this, but he has at least familiarity with him. So, I mean, you know, pairing up Urban Myers with a guy like Justin Fields, I mean, that could, that could be, you know, something very, very dangerous. But as I said, man, this is all speculation. I mean, we've had some college coaches do some good things as of late, like Cliff Kingsbury is doing pretty good with the with the Arizona offense, and Matt Rule's doing very good with the Carolina Panthers, and um, Urban Meyer is a hell of a lot better college coach than those guys were. So, bringing the guy like Urban Meyer, man, that would be that would be huge. And the only another big concern I do have with him though is what kind of culture he's going to build. You know, he brought, especially at Florida, he brought in a lot of sketchy dudes, man. Aaron Hernandez went on to be a murderer. Uh, Brandon Spikes was kind of a crazy guy. We, the Pouncey twins were crazy dudes. Uh, so, you know, Riley Cooper, I don't know if he was a bad guy, but he, you know, was on camera saying like a racial slur. So, and then of course they had the priest at quarterback with Tim Tebow. So I don't know, man, it's, uh, it, it'll be an interesting situation, but you know, and, and you know, with the whole culture thing that I'm kind of going to, they, he also had some kind of circle of trust at Florida that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. He would basically have players that he gave special treatments to, mostly like star players, like you know, guys like Percy Harvin and stuff, where they could get away with a lot of stuff, man. Like they they didn't have to complete their full workouts. Um, they he was like hiding different positive drug tests away um, from you know, from like, I guess the officials, wherever you kind of hide that from, but I don't know, man, if you're trying to build it, you know, we want to be able to build a good culture, but most importantly, man, we want to win. If we can come in here, like Bill Belichick, it isn't very fun playing for Bill Belichick, but hell man, those teams that like his teams win and they do good things with him. So I don't know, man, I, I would love, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts, man. Would you want the Jaguars to potentially go after a guy like Urban Meyer or, are you guys kind of on really like more of the back burner with this whole thing kind of sketched out by kind of what he does? Like me personally, I mean, uh, like I said, like I would probably go for the Mike Borgonzi, like Eric B. Enemy kind of duo, but hell, like getting a guy like Urban Meyer, you're bringing in like a role proven winner at the, at least at the college football level. And, um, I'd be excited for it, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, come also guys, be sure to join my flick chat. If you haven't already, I'll leave that down below. We're always over there. It's a big community, man. It's growing. There's, we're, there's always people talking about the games, get connected with other Jaguar fans. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at UCF underscore Jaguar. Thank you guys for watching. Go Jags. Three games left until the bleeding is over. I can't wait. All right, guys, I'll see you.